Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a book haul. So over the last couple of months I have bought a couple books. I've bought nine books over the last couple of months. I've read a couple so it hasn't been that bad. I haven't been that naughty. And yeah, so let's get started and look at some beautiful covers. So the first book I have is So Anyway by John Cleese. I've been meaning to read this novel for ages. I love John Cleese. I love Monty Python. I love all the sort of things that he's been in. He's such an intelligent, lovely, funny guy and I've always wanted to read a book by him. Basically this is just the biography of his early life and how he got into the acting and all the sort of stuff that he's done throughout his life and I'm really excited to read this. Hi guys, the next book I'm going to be talking about is Oba Newton by Isabel Carmody. I've already read this book before and I've had editions of it before but I've sold them or given them away. I can't exactly remember what I did with them but I'm going to be doing a series read of this before the last book comes out this year and basically it's sort of like it's a fantasy story but it's post-apocalyptic as well, but it doesn't really seem that way as you get introduced to the society. And it's about this girl who has these sort of mind powers. I can't remember what kind of mind powers they are off, off the top of my head. But um, there's a lot of intrigue and mystery and she has this like friend who's a cat and it's an amazing series. So I'm really looking forward to doing a reread of this. The next book I got was Egg and Spoon by Gregory Maguire. I've already read a book by Gregory Maguire which was Wicked and I quite enjoyed that from what I recall. It was a couple years ago. But this one encompasses one of my, some of my favourite things when it comes to literature. It's got Russian influences and Russian fairy tales intertwined into this story um, and set in Russia and it's fantasy and it's about this young girl um, who meets this other girl and they get up to all these kind of mischief and this Baba Yaga and all sorts of stuff and it just sounds really interesting and I can't wait to read it. The next book I got was Heidi by Joanna Spirey and I don't know why I've never read this before. Um, I remember loving the movie, I think it was the 1970s version, I can't exactly remember but it was an old version. When I, when I grew up and it was one of the movies I would rewatch and rewatch over and over again. I haven't rewatched it in a couple of years but I remember absolutely loving it and I think I will like the story as well if I love that story, if, that, if I love the movie so much. But it's basically about this young girl um, who lives with her grandfather and all sorts of things happen to her and there's this girl and I'm really bad at summarising this stuff but it's a classic children's novel and I should read this because look I got the Puffin and Bloom edition and it's so beautiful. The next book I got was A Room with a View by E.M. Forster. This is another book I've been meaning to read for quite a long time. Um, it's about this young girl called Lucy Honeychurch who travels to Italy with her cousin and all the sorts of things that follow on from there. Um, it's got a bit of drama and romance. The next book I got was Daphnis and Chloe by Longus. This is a Greek classic novel and I've actually this is one of the books that I've actually read out of this haul and it's basically about this goat herd and shepherdess and how they fall in love and they're not sure if this is love, what are these feelings that they're feeling and it's really cute and wonderful and I really would recommend it. So the next couple books I got from the Little Black Classics range. The first one is The Nightingales Are Drunk by Hafez. This is a Persian poet who wrote a bit of poetry. Again, this is one of the novels, books that I have read so far. And it's got some really beautiful poetry. I wouldn't say it's my favourite poetry in the world, but I... I quite liked what I read and I might read more of his works. Next book I got was A Hippo Banquet by Mary Kingsley and it's about, well the author is this Victorian female explorer and this novel is about some of the adventures that she got up to in Africa and I really want to read this. The last book I got was A Pair of Silk Stockings by Kate Chopin and basically it's set in the south of America and it sounds really interesting. I can't just wait to see what her writing is like and yeah. So that was all the books that I picked up 
and bought and wandered and awed over the covers and I'm gonna read them eventually <sighs> just let me finish Mistborn at the moment so thank you for watching I hope you have a lovely day and see ya